So I was checking on my fall seedlings and I'm so excited because they're almost ready to go. But what I noticed is even though I have this net in place, there are some aphids trying to settle in. So let me show you guys how I'm going to fix that problem. What I have right here is all the ingredients that I use for my neem oil mixture to address any kind of aphids. Alright, so making this neem oil recipe is super simple you guys. I just have a gallon here with some tap water that's a little bit warmer than lukewarm. That tends to help everything dissolve and mix together pretty well. First thing I'm going to put is two tablespoons of this neem oil. It's 100% cold pressed neem oil. That's the kind that you want to use. The pure neem oil is the one that works. Now that that neem oil's in, the next ingredient I'm going to place is one tablespoon of blue Dawn dish soap. You might see variations on this recipe, but this is what's worked for me in the past. And so I'm showing you guys exactly what I use in my garden. And this will really help prevent aphid infestations, spider mites, etc. In goes the blue Dawn dish soap. And then this will just help the oil break up and mix in with the water really well. It'll also help the solution stick to the leaves instead of just spraying on and washing off. Another ingredient that I like to use, which is completely optional, is peppermint oil. So I'm just gonna put in a few dropperfuls of this. Peppermint oil is known to repel certain bugs and pests. I think it just kinda helps a little bit. Just need a little bit of this stuff, not a lot. And it makes it smell very good too. So now that I have everything in there, I'm just gonna close the cap and give it a good shake. All right, now remember guys, this isn't lemonade, <laughs> it's neem oil. So this neem oil spray is gonna do wonders for my garden. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my seedlings and I'll use the rest for the rest of my plants that have aphids on it currently. So I'm just gonna give this neem oil a good shake, get everything mixed in, and pour it into my hand sprayer. So a couple things to know before you spray, it's always best to test spray on a leaf and give it about 48 hours to see if there's any damage. Now I've used this exact solution before on all of my plants so I won't be testing it but um, I'm going to go and spray my seedlings. I'm going to make sure to get the underside of the leaves and the young little leaves that are coming out as well because that's where most of the aphids congregate. Just to find this all over the plants. Now they're mainly on the cabbage, so I'm going to try to focus on that one. Getting into the centers. I'm going to turn this nozzle around so I can get the underside of the leaves too. Now a couple other things to know about spraying neem oil. You don't want to spray it when the plants will be getting a lot of heat during the day. I usually wait till the evening time to spray my plants or if they're going to be in shade for most of the day. So, And with my larger plants, I often don't even need a lot of neem oil. Most of the time as part of my general maintenance, I'll take my garden hose on the jet setting and just douse the plants in water to wash everything off. One more thing I wanted to show you guys about aphids. If you look really closely here with the ants, you can see some aphids, but then you also see some white egg looking clusters. So those are actually aphid mummies. So there is a type of uh, 
parasitic wasp, I believe. Teeny tiny thing that goes and lays their eggs inside the aphids. And what happens is they get mummified like that. So that's actually a really good sign and I'm not going to mess with that at all too much because soon enough what will happen is those baby parasitic flies will hatch from those aphids and lay more eggs in more aphids helping control my aphid population. And this is just an example of one way that the natural predators can take care of the problem for you. But sometimes you have to come out and help things along a little bit so that's how I keep garden pests such as aphids off of my plants. These seedlings are going to get so much healthier and they're almost ready to plant so stay tuned for the next video.